let me show you how it works. So first of all, you open up the door and you place it on top of the coat hanger pin right here. And the squirrel comes along, goes inside, goes right to the back. His body weight, of course, just gets to the back and it uh, makes it tilt. When it does that, the door slams shut. He goes towards the front of the trap to get out and that brings it down to this piece of wood and the door cannot open. Then you just come over to the wing nut right here and you place it in the door. Then you can just pick the trap right up and carry him to wherever you want. Then you just simply remove the wing nut. Then just use this little screw to lift the door open and there's an elastic band attached to the handle to hold it open. The handle on the top is just a piece of coat hanger. Now the best part about this trap is every single part of it is adjustable so that you can tweak everything to get it just perfect so it's balanced right and the door slams shut just perfectly. So let me show you the bottom where it pivots. So these are just deck screws. They stick out a half of an inch. And all I did was I took a drill and I pre-drilled a whole bunch of holes a quarter of an inch apart so that I could pick and choose whichever I wanted in order to get the balance just right. Then I just took some quarter inch stock and I drilled a couple of holes in it in order to mount the deck screws into there to fit on the platform. And what I've done here is I made sure that the hole that this screw mounts into was bigger than the screw. So that gives us some room to move it around and adjust it to get it just perfectly adjusted to fit the deck screws from the box. And when you cut your wood, you want to make sure that the finished opening is five inches by five inches. And this piece of wood here that keeps the door shut, you want to make sure that you drill the holes into this wood bigger than the screw also. That way you've got room to move it around and adjust it. And you'll notice the same thing with the hinge. You want to use a smaller screw than the hole so that you've got play in order to move the hinge around to adjust the door. And on the door I mounted a couple of neodymium magnets. One on the door and one down at the bottom here. And I did that so that when the door closes it wants to stay shut and not bounce around too much. And then the part that holds the door up is three inches by six inches by three quarters of an inch. And you just bend a loop into it and a screw and a washer. That way this is also fully adjustable back and forth and it can pivot and do whatever you want with it. The wing nut that I made up is just a 2 inch deck screw with the head ground down to fit inside of a 5 16 wing nut. Then I just applied some epoxy and it made a neat little screw. When you're ready to bait it, I find the best of shelled peanuts. For the first day or two, I suggest holding the door open with the elastic band. And place one peanut right there, one about three inches inside of the door. Then take two more peanuts and toss them right to the very back of the trap. They'll get quite comfortable the first couple of days. They'll get that one peanut, take off, bury it, then they'll come back and get that one. And then as they're doing that, they'll see the other two in the very back, and then they'll venture in to get them. On the inside, I use some half-inch screen, and every two inches I use the screw and a washer to secure it down. Well, I hope this video has helped. If it did, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And we'll see you next time.